Hello and welcome to La Seine, a Thief 2 fan mission by Ketan. My pronunciation of French is pretty terrible, so I apologize for that. Let's read the story. After many disheartening misadventures, our friend Garrett sought to be forgotten and needed a change of scene. He packed his possessions, took his savings, his water arrows and other equipment, then he left his city for a charming, quiet little town. Rumour says... The humble inn seemed to be a restful spot where he could take his mark in this unknown city. Yet the next morning, what an awful surprise when he realised that someone had dared to burgle him. Garrett! Burgled. The story begins here. Note. I beg you, if you encounter the Puyu, don't hurt him. He's a good boy, but slow, but he never caused any harm, so please leave him alone in the streets of the sleeping town. Very well. On one condition. If he was the one who burgled me, something will have to be done about that. Maybe not harm. Revenge of some kind, right? <laughs> uh, okay, it must be if we could get rich in this town. Feeling 1600 gold would be a good beginning, and that gets up to 3000, alright. You have been humiliated enough. Recover your goods as soon as possible. This villain, this, uh, Villain Lassen has hidden his treasure somewhere. While you're at it, find this place and receive and relieve Lassen of the riches he has acquired so cunningly. Lassen should rot in jail for the way he has treated you. you must be a prisoner in this town. Capture Lassen and see that he gets what he deserves. And keep him alive. Dead, he won't know that you have won. Let's see. Uh, if we go up to that, we get 2,500 gold. Then the citizens would like to go about the business quietly and to die of natural causes. You mustn't rush things. Well, that's unhelpfully phrased for deciding, for, you know, you mustn't rush things. Does this mean don't kill any, any innocents? Uh, like, hopefully that's all it means. That's just like the stop thing. But uh, maybe it means don't get seen. I don't know. I think that's what it's saying. They would like to die of natural causes. You must, mustn't rush their deaths along. Don't kill innocents. I do believe that's what it's trying to say. Uh, and I, I appreciate the phrasing there, it's entertaining. A master thief doesn't leave a bloodbath behind him, avoid any slaughter. Okay. Well, in that case, 1600, 2500, 3000, I don't know how much gold there is, I don't know how hard it is to find. I am going to go on hard, following my usual. Uh, and, you know, if I do have to kill a guard or two, that'll be fine. Obviously, I'm not going to keep, I'm not going to kill Sen himself. Uh, because that's a separate objective. So let's begin. Okay. We have a shop with no money, but at least it lets us see our starting load out easily. Three rope arrows, some broadheads, five waters. All unremarkable. No flash bombs, which is actually unfortunate because, you know, I do tend to get in trouble a lot and I don't like the quick load when I get in trouble. Flash bombs are great. What have we got here? My dear Garrett! Don't think of anything against you. It's just the harsh law of our profession. I must confess it was a real stroke of luck. I came in the room for a little routine theft, and who did I see sleeping like a baby? The famous Garrett. Garrett himself. I've heard of you many times, and yet you disappoint me. You should have made a better effort to hide your loot. It was child's play for me to find it. What about the lock? Goodness me. An old rusty nail would have been enough to pick it. Obviously your reputation overestimates your skills. Look, man, I'm... I'm a thief. I'm not a security expert. I don't... I steal things. I'm not... don't have to be good at stopping them being stolen, you know? It's not the same. Two entirely separate skill sets. Not entirely separate. I advise you to leave this town, my friend. Its resources are not plentiful enough for two professionals of our caliber. It was faithfully... Rassen. Ash, you are a bastard. Ash? Is this where I hit my stuff? Oh, hello, where's there an X? Hmm. Do we have a map? We do not. Okay, so and not even a notes page. I can't take notes. Because that seems. That X looks significant and might be more significant later. No. 
Uh, I was wandering the streets in Paris. Just curious to see how far they're gonna go. Okay, keep going round. They turn around and come back. They turn around and come back. Okay. Also, it doesn't look like I'm getting out this window. Not even with a rope arrow. Unless I want to hurt myself. Well, let's start with a quick uh, visit to the toilet. Ah, there's an X as well. Hmm, maybe the X is just marking. Here is the place to, to break in and steal. Here is where they keep their loot. Where is this wildly singing uh, drunken guard? Well, maybe downstairs. Well, the second one might not be so drunk. Oh no, they're both pretty. They're both. They're both quite far gone. Goldilocks House. Goldilocks and her bear cubs are happy to welcome you for a month, a day, or a night. Sweet dreams. But well, they're not walking pairs. They just happen to be. Oh, it's. Oh, here's a different one. Ah, oh, here's the, these two maybe are in the house. Nope. There's just a lot of guards around the street. Okay. Do I have any directions on where to go? Get my goods back. Just take. I send stuff. Steal everything in the town. Catch him and put him in one of the cells of the security office. Keep him alive. Okay. All right. So they're not. They're not actually following each other, walking in pairs. They just happen to be lined up. I want to close this door to shut those people up, but I need to wait for these people to go. Oh, okay. They did go around, and I just misread this. Well, I looked away too soon, I guess. That goes now. You know what? I'm going to go the same direction as them, then. What's this sign? Public notice. A reward of 5,000 gold pieces is offered for any information about Lassen. Public enemy number one of our charming little town. Contact the police or the watch guards with any information or questions. Hmm. Does that mean if I was carrying him, the watch would be uh, happy to see me? This wasn't a place, was it? No. Is that a place? Also, no. There's something just there. Oh, they turn around again, okay. Well, seems clear. And then maybe they're just uh Maybe he's just a little lost. Yeah, that's what it seems to be. Okay. So I could keep going west in like let's look at this courtyard first. Some Public notice, be vigilant. The police are looking for a man named Gout. Speak to the nearest sentry guard if you have any information or queries. <clears throat> so they're looking for me as well. I mean, I guess, fair enough. Uh, yes, that's the same notice. Can I just chop that down, you know? Oh, there's, oh, there's somebody else nearby. It's quiet enough now. Okay, then. Oh, there's somebody upstairs here that was looking out of the street and saw me a bit. Hmm. Does seem to be the case. Oh, yes. Quiet, <coughs> Garrett. Be warned. Well, note to self. Be warned. There are archers watching the streets. Can I put out the candle? No. This is just a bit of honest burglary officers. Nothing to be concerned about. 
Hello? There is definitely a passageway behind there. <laughs> I can see through the cracks. So I guess I should be looking for some kind of lever. I mean, maybe not. Maybe I can just... Actually, it seems pretty solid. So I'd have to move with, uh, with a lever of some kind, or a button. There's a pretty bare room. It doesn't seem like it's going to be hiding any secrets. Maybe there's something in the fireplace itself. Maybe if I just put the fire out, let's just try that. I don't have many of these, so I'm going to quick load if this doesn't work. If this doesn't lead to results, because wasting a water arrow on a fire that doesn't need putting it out. <laughs> and you have very few of them. Is what well, a waste. Also makes it harder to see the rest of the room. Oh, there's an upstairs. Okay, let's try it upstairs. Maybe there's a secret lever upstairs. <laughs> right. It does help if when you attempt to climb a ladder, if you get off it, you actually climb forward when you map off. Ma'am. Please do not be alarmed, I'm just stealing all your worldly goods. Geraldine's diary. Oh, but it's so busy these days, the time board. Time passes more quickly with Georgia on my side. He is such a wonderful lover. You must be careful that they never learn of each other. I hid no Norbert's daily letters, as I don't want George to see them. If he ever did, he would demand an explanation from him at once. To tell the truth, Norbert is a far richer match. Poor George, who thinks he can make his fortune with his little exotic seasoning business. What a dreamer. Sometimes I feel sorry for him. Again, the Puyu has come and sung his dirge beneath my window. He has come here for a week every night. I'm getting worried. I don't know how far this half will go. Who knows what unhealthy thoughts are bred in the minds of idiots. In the beginning, I found him touching. I remember him curled up in a corner in the marketplace. He was plucking his harp and playing discordant sounds. We used to see him there as he gently stroked people's hands or kissed the guards. They always kicked his rear to thank him, but he had never caused any harm. He's just a bit thick, due to an intermarriage, probably. Even the bone setter couldn't help him. His big empty eyes and his vacuous look aroused pity, but now he's almost scaring me. He spends entire hours beneath my window, and he drives me crazy with his out-of-tune instrument. I shouldn't have opened my door to him when I felt a bit down. I just wanted to talk. I had to speak to somebody, even a simple Simon. Norbert went off on business, or on a business trip for some days, and I felt so lonely. Well, that'll teach me to welcome the unlucky, underprivileged, and to offer them a hot meal. They always imagine I'll do something special for them, little pitiful things. I just don't want to hear about charity anymore. Raymond says he's not really surprised that I attract men as well as problems. He says that if I want to avoid them, I should reject the first ones, then hide my cleavage a little better, and for the second ones, I should count to three before talking. Norbert is a very jealous man. Despite his great reputation, he's no longer in his first flush of youth. The necklace Norbert gave me is gone. Oh dear, what can I do? I've looked everywhere. If Norbert hears I've lost his gift, he'll be furious. God knows that my Norbert is not very bright when he's upset. Yesterday, when I came back home, I found muddy tracks on the floor. Someone came here and took my necklace. I know it was that bloody half-wit Puyu. I can feel it. My womanly instinct never fails me. Old Mrs. Fouquet told me where he lives. He finds refuge in the old tower near the security office in the industrial district. But I won't set foot in his den. How horrible. I don't know how to get there. A Puyu bastard has learned to hide himself. I have an idea. I'll send my brother. I'll let him in on the secret. He can go right ahead and beat that innate moron up. Nobody knew about it. Security office, industrial district. Hmm. What if it was somebody else who took your necklace, ma'am? Oh, the air is getting so filthy lately. Also, regretting a kindness done is not kind act. <coughs> you having a lever somewhere? I heard a guard making a noise there. Hmm. I mean, there's very clearly something behind that fireplace, but I don't know, maybe it'll come into play later. I can't find it, I'm not gonna spend forever trying. Maybe I'll leave this door jar as a, as a reminder. If I ever come back here. To. It won't be much good as a reminder if I don't come back here. 
And she's watching the street too, so I need to be careful about letting her see me. Or maybe she won't be bothered by seeing someone on the street, I don't know. She doesn't seem too bothered. Despite me obviously being clad in stereotypical thief gear. Now, I know there was that passage to the west I could have gotten to. I know, she saw that. Okay. Let's go to the east. Now, this just takes us straight back to the, uh, the inn we were staying at, right? I think. Yes, okay. Let's check out this, and then we have the other passage right to the west. West end of town. Oh, hello. See that little courtyard? Just, uh, stables or something? But no, there's a, there's a locked door in the ground. Very odd. And that's going to need a key to open it. Alright. Oh, how interesting. How curious. Shadow of the wind. That's how sneaky Garrett is. Wait. Where was that west westward passageway? Oh here. Sounds like it might be haunted. Hmm. Something is amiss. Somebody's cut down the banners before I could. That's not fair. You're not allowed to do that. Found La Senpal. Now I know where he's hiding. The miscreant stole a hundred crowns from me. The result of two months' hard work. I'm not in the habit of doing things for peanuts, so I moved heaven and earth to find him, and at last, D Day has come. Want to join us? Hey, pal, it is a long time since we had some fun, and I cross my heart and hope to die that it'll be worth the trip. I was told he's onto something very big, something never done before. I don't know much more, but I can make any man talk, even La Sen. The bloke sees no difference between honest citizens and his thief brothers. He steals from whoever he meets, he never learns. If we get our hands on him, we'll never make it to a ripe old age. He's hiding in the east side of the old town, in an inn, at Surges, near the abandoned district. Bring along your friends, they're not very bright anyway. The more the merrier, and I'm already splitting my sides laughing. Ah, la send boy, you will get a sound thrashing from us. La souris. Ah, this is a... Spooky-ish place, but doesn't seem to be actively haunted. I made a noise. Quiet. Wow. What did not you and that's it? Wow, man, it's just a fucking door hinge creaking. Calm down. Oh, I'm surprised they reacted so strongly with that. Done. Come out and fight. No, he's oh. 
Wow. That's um somebody who What's the word? When there's when there's a sound that uh you just find intentionally aggravating. I stereotypically like fingernails on a chalkboard, but uh for some people many sounds are uh, have that quality. This guy has clearly uh, a strong aversion to uh, squeaky hinges. more to this town than I thought. Somebody coming back? <coughs> yes. Strange. I thought there was something there. Oh, that's a nice detail. The, uh, mm -hmm. Film the windows at the top there. I mean, it's, it's clearly an early, early mission. I don't know whether it's the first one uh, by uh, Kitan, but um, I mean, it's also early in, in Thief Town, so like people weren't mostly building. It's like 2002, I think it was says. Ah! For you, it's his harp. The harp isn't so uh, out of tune, is it? I've played that harp myself many times, or a similar one. So those people are going to be problems for getting past without being spotted. Young Girls Private School, St. Margaret Convent. Any guards? Any way in? Any loot? Who are you? Oh, just a guard, okay. Another watchtower. Oh, Weekly report. Monday. Very quiet. The lads didn't notice anything strange. Tuesday. Robert drives me crazy. I wonder whether I should fire that slacker. He was dead drunk again when he came on watch duty. And he dare say that Rum sharpens his senses. Well, I'm going to sharpen his rear with my sword. He won't come back here. It was his bottle last sentence slipped away again in the one-eyed man case. He was blind, drunk, and drunk, and he rushed up to one of the guards. He thought it was the culprit. What a moron. Wednesday. Gerard isn't here because he's suffering from a hangover. That's Robert. Isn't it enough that he's always drunk? He has to take Gerard with him. Thursday. I smoked the Havana cigar so kindly given to me by Sir Delore. It was so good. Sir Delore is a fair man who knows how to deal with the city. What a great presence. Such a peaceful influence. Friday. The security office received an anonymous letter. Another villain has come to town lately, as if Larsen wasn't enough trouble. We don't know yet where he's hiding, but we'll uh, soon find him. That taffer boy is not familiar with this place, and we'll show him what we're made of. I'll be down. On my word, as guard chief graduated 10th from the academy. My men are leading the inquiries. They're searching inns, taverns, everywhere. But it's very hard, because we don't know what the churl looks like. Old Mrs. Fouquet, the butcher's lady in the marketplace, told me she saw a weird guy who wanted a quarter of burrick the other day. One might say, what's wrong with that? The man moved clumsily and had shifty eyes. No one should trust shifty eyes. My boys have his descri description now, but I think what old Mrs. Fouquet told us was a load of crap. So what we've got now is a man with a limp and perfidious eyes. Well, that's some kind of a lead anyway. Last minute information. Four eyes said he found out the hiding place of the Laxan gang. It's near the big marketplace gate, behind some sort of secret entrance. I'm going to police headquarters to find out some more about it. If you want to see me, go there. The guard chief. Get to spy on the guards coming and going. Hello. Ladder downwards. Where does this go? A very long ladder. Okay, 
This is new. Damn basement of some kind. Oh, we can go north up some stairs. Let's stay on this level for now and head south down this passageway. Ah. Oh. Opens into sewers, does it? No. I'm some target practice, which I fail at badly. There we are, that's a little better. Oh, there's another one in the water, is there? Looks like there's another one. Oh, it's a big one down there. Well, maybe I'll wait for it to calm down. Then it will be easier to, uh, to dispatch. Well, it seems calm now. Let's uh, let's try it. Okay. Damn it, carrot. Well, we got eight left. Spiders. Cast down. Well, we're here now. We can get back up easily enough. Climbing this. Climbing these. Giant girders shouldn't be a problem. Although, oh no, no, we can get, we can get up this one. There's a need to to slay the spiders, but you know, honestly, they're almost as bad as banners. They deserve. Yeah, banners. Well, banners deserve everything I guess, but spiders deserve at least a few broadheads. Alright, just a couple of diamonds. Well, that's some loot. 300. That's 200 worth, I guess. <gasps> On the way to uh, full... 2000, is it? Alright, it's west or south. Let's go west. I was going to say and keep my feet dry, but I guess they're not going to stay dry for long. Maybe there's, maybe there's passages join up anyway. Yeah, they do. Very large sewers for such a small town. No. I guess the uh Hello. It's quiet now. I think we may have found uh where they hang out. Forever. Well, if you will. I know you can't hide forever. I need to hide forever, man. Just long enough to knock you on the head. Why do they all come straight for me? Get him out of the uh, direct path. I was hoping to sneak past them, but uh, instead I wasted a whatever. Well, I suppose it's not wasted. Very, very dark in here. Sewer key. Lonely Thief's Diary. I'm so good at this. I amaze myself sometimes. I sneaked into the Journey Wells house. The people who run the green grocery shop. I smoothly enter the kitchen like Quicksilver. I'm not afraid to take a chance and play Father Christmas. What a slide down the chimney. As for my gifts, I took their nest egg. And it was a big nest egg. It was a bit difficult to find it. The lovebirds hid it under their mattress. Actually, I wished to make it quick and smooth, but the old woman opened one eye. 
To tell the truth, she barely opened the second, but now she won't open either ever again. How could I know the bed would creak as soon as I put my hands on it? I didn't take any risks with the old man. He followed his beloved into the next world. Anyway, it was worth doing. As my old mother used to say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And she was bloody right. Then after this dangerous experience, which I must admit I carried out with great talent, all right, there was just a little glitch. I thought I needed to do something more challenging. Therefore, I am higher, better, stronger. I decided to break into the butchers. Wow, I will scour the entire marketplace. I'll be known as the terror of the merchants. And even the dead barracks from Fouquet's butcher shop will run away when they see me coming. This time I didn't come down through the chimney. It was too loud and there was no chimney either, so no problem. I feel like a cat, I slipped into the cellar through the basement window and I carefully looked around me. One difficulty, the staircase. Those old rickety steps would have the whole neighbourhood out if I didn't pay attention. But I wasn't born yesterday. I have more than one string to my bow and I have an unfailing shrewdness. If I came out, it entered by the front door. It was far easier and I didn't harm myself. The lock was tough to pick. Surely it was a steel security lock. Finally I made it. I walked stealthily in the dark room and I listened. I listened for a long time. Nothing. Not a noise. Silence was everywhere. The meat hackers were sleeping on the first floor with their money. I'm used to it. I know where they sort hide their gold pieces. I looked around for anything else worth stealing before going for the gold, but I only found some letters. Those letters must be compromising. They were written by a woman and sent to the master of the house. I kept them just in case. I could blackmail the old man if I wanted to. Ain't it a shame to be fooling around behind his wife's back at his age? What a dirty cutter. Wonder what his old woman would say if she knew just what her lovely darling was using to boost his old heart. I had no problem finding the safe, it was near the bed. Didn't manage to crack it, so I just took it with me to open it in a more private place with fire arrows. The safe was bloody heavy, I nearly dropped it dozens of times. In fact, I fell down the staircase and didn't let it go. I'd rather die. Fortunately, old people are completely deaf, so nobody woke. I didn't hang about, and left quietly. So he was worried about climbing up the staircase because it, uh, <laughs> the steps might creak. Um... But then he fell down and fell down with the safe. Today the butchers, tomorrow the police headquarters. I am coming. I really think I'm ready for this job. Worked on this project for three days. I planned and calculated everything. That building hides many treasures. Everybody knows the mechanists are rich men and I'm going to empty their purses. Entrance door? Don't think about it. It's too well guarded. No, there's another way. I winkled information out of the old Fouquet woman. She's the gossip who runs the butcher shop. She sees all and hears all. I asked her if she knew a way to enter the offices other than by the entrance door. She said her nephew had worked in the building as a secretary. Sometimes he would sneak girls in when his bosses were away, but she said she couldn't remember where the passageway was. Just my rotten luck. It took some time, but I got it out of her. After one or two gulps of rock cut and a few well-placed slaps, she told me about a more window that was often open for ventilation. Ah, how clever I am. I could make a dead man talk if I wanted to. And we all know the dead men are there in the morgue to be convinced into talking. But I must be careful because there are many guards in these big red brick buildings and when they catch you they don't spare you. I have to choose my equipment carefully. They shall see. I'll teach Lassan a lesson he soon won't forget. From now on he'd better watch his back. La Souris is coming. La Souris is truly fierce. At the end of the day I won't need Lassan anymore. And if he wants to play with the big boys he'll have to ask me first. Lassan. What a chicken thief. La Souris. Okay, so this is a rival thief. This isn't Lassen's guy. This is Lassen's guys. Okay, and that just comes back around here. All right. What about the upper level? Is there anything on this ledge? I apologize for the darkness, but uh, well, that fire did need to be put out. Doesn't look like there's anything up here. Well, I'm not going to run around with my nose to the floor, just on the off chance. Okay. Let's get back down to the sewer tunnels. Is it the same set of sewer tunnels or a different one? I don't know. But they've done a very good job of joining these uh, tunnels, getting, getting cylinders to line up without ridiculous... Horrific overlap isn't the easiest thing in the world. Oh, that's just where I went in. Okay, so we are back to where I came. Where I came from. So we have the stairs going upwards. Where were they? Back this way? Mm. I thought 
the stairs from, from down here. Let me just take another quick check. Maybe they were from uh, up above the spiders. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. They were above the spiders. I was, I was thinking it was like, okay, we, we stay on the same level. We'll take the stairs up, but no, it turned out to be take the stairs up. We'll go further down. All right, let's go back up here. Yeah. Is there? If there was, I don't know how I would get to it, so I'm gonna have to assume there isn't. Stairs up, were they here? They were indeed, alright. Oh. And the place is this. Sewerman's Diary. Today I saw an odd thing. Went down for the usual maintenance, check if all the pipes were unblocked, removed the dead rats, so on. And I saw him. That lad looked awful. Don't know what he was doing in that stinking place, but it seemed that he was very pleased to be there. Found myself face to face with him in the tunnel. Could not help screaming when I saw his mug in the darkness. So I left without further ado and took to my heels like a cowardly rabbit. Don't want to go there anymore. Who was this guy, a tramp? Now there are squat squatters in the sewers. That's a bit much. Talk about this with the hygiene and security director. I'll have to do a thorough clean up down there. Right, well, we have the key for this door, so let's. You know what? Nobody needs to know we've been in there. So do I know which part of town I'm in? I don't. Don't recognize the street. Hang on. Oh, there's a big gate. Put a lever next to it so it clearly opens. It's certainly guarded quite well. Well, one guard standing there watching out. Guarded well enough. Hello. the torch out. Should I though? I mean, you don't guard a place like that unless, make, unless there's a reason to, right? It's got to be valuable, say, or something. Uh, I'll grab another broadhead from this archer later. Just waiting till this guy goes so that Hopefully nobody's going to get too riled up by the uh, sound of water splashing and the torch coming in. And hopefully I won't miss. What was that noise? What was that noise? Uh, hello? Anyone there? Well, seems clear. Still very bright. Oh, there's a torch right there, okay. Well, if we can get into that shadow... Well, that we spotted by these two. That should be good enough. I think I can do that. I think that should be good enough. Not again! It's not actually Got that dark. Some better torture. Oh, hello. X. Is that the basement? Do I really want to do this? I'm gonna to have to, aren't I? You will see me as around the corner otherwise. I like it. Stop! Bird is a sheriff Gorman shirt! Well you saw me anyway, despite being very dark. He's camouflage there. Well, it's gonna make it easier to get to that window, so I guess it's okay. 
Not quite sure how he noticed me. These things burn out faster than they used to. Since it's basically full darkness here, I guess he was more alert than Benny would have been. Where is this going to take us? Storage yard. I have a bad feeling about this. Why? Flash bombs, this is not good. I spotted him. him. Huh? This guy's dead. Come out, come out wherever you are. When he said this guy's dead, was he talking about me? And that was that was reasonably successful. He's hiding down behind the stairs. Good to know. Is he gonna get angry if he sees his friend? Hmm. Better you than me. Wow. Not much sympathy. Come on now. I won't hurt you. Much. Something strange is going on. Be extra careful. I know you're out there. Stay alert. Something's going on. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Alright, that's right. Come up here. Gotcha. Alright. So much for your ambush and you can catch Garrett. The master ambush evader. Well, Garrett, thank you for your bad feeling. It uh, definitely saved me some uh, trouble. Northern District Key, huh? Hello, I think you've got a. Aha! Uh -huh. Fake painting. It's just a curtain. Art thieves? <gasps> well, let's keep that shut for a minute until we I find it. I really learn to hate these guys. Not sure why he said that. And how did you like my little ambush, my dear Garrett? My lad nimble enough to have heard you already? I suppose that if you still have enough strength to read my message, you're not dead yet. But is it really good for you? Hide well in this hollow as long as you want, but it won't make things more comfortable. You'll have to get out of this place someday. Do you see this lever on your left? It opens the gate that trapped you. You're fast, I suppose. You certainly should have time to activate it and get outside before my boys can catch you. Leave this town. Disobey this order, try to find me again, and little surprises like this one will await you. Farewell, Garrett. 
But if you choose to see me later, I confess it'll be my pleasure to make a fool of you again. Yours truly, La Sen. Okay, so that's uh, just the gate that I came in by. Right, so I can get back out again. But there's a room here I had not explored. None of these paintings are actually worth enough for me to steal. Oh, well, let's just go around here. Alright, so there's nothing here but some healing potions, which uh, would have been valuable if I had. Um... Is this the one? Yeah. You know what? Let's make it blatantly obvious that they're. Uh... that they failed. All of them just up the stairs and your note at the top. Arsen, eat my loot sack. Is this really, but is this really all? Hmm. Is there anything else here? Well, I don't think so, right? It didn't seem to be. changing the wall, but it doesn't seem to be a secret door style changing the wall. I guess fair enough. So I guess the idea is that you can't fight them and you can run and hide here where they can't get you and where you can stay in the darkness long enough. Yeah, I can see how that would uh, be amusing for our Antagonist. It doesn't work that. Okay. That is a key that lets me continue on. Now, I'm not 100% sure about continuing on when I haven't... I don't feel like I've explored the rest of the town yet. So, where we see an X. Here's a marker for their gang, but it might just be... There is a trap. Well, this is the eastern district here, here, clearly. Oh, there's a... That goes off to the left. Okay, there is more street out there. from the other side. Greengrocers. How did you get into the greengrocers again? There was a dark spot here. That's oh, dark enough here. Yeah. What's the papyrus? Yeah, right, okay. So this note, hiding the east side of the old town in an inn. Okay, that's not what I've got. That's not where I just was. Yeah, another guard. Oh, and there's a uh, the guard tower. <coughs> Closed on account of bereavement. Okay. I could break the boards down. People will hear it, that's the problem. I mean, I could deal with the people, so they weren't allowed to wait to hear it. That might be an idea. Maybe I could just leave them alone? Hmm. Oh, they can... The other guy's coming back now. They're not going to give me any peace, are they? Perhaps there's another way in. Maybe a window? A light on, but that's, is that, is that workable? Let's try it. 
one oh, where I can see you. You can never tell with that texture. Sometimes it is, sometimes it ain't. This doesn't really seem like a roof climbing mission, so... I'm just going to clean the streets up a bit here. It's... Few too many clumping plotters for me to uh, be happy about beating in doors. Which makes a lot of noise and attracts a lot of attention. Don't come now. You clumping plotter. If you messed up my plan, you got what you deserved. Wow, this bush is too small to hide all those guards, isn't it? Oh, there's, there's more guards right there. They're definitely going to hear if I start wailing on the door. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. Whatever, let's try it. saw me. Oh, when I get my hands on you, intruders. Just me. Huh. Can't follow me in there. Well, we can add another to the, to the pile. Oh, there's more bushes. That's good news. Why are you going over there, man? Oh, wow. Okay. You are quicker on with the reactions than I expected. Oh, there's more bushes, but they're not done. Wow, that, that hurts. That hurt. Hurt my feelings more than my, uh, and my pride more than my, um, skin. It did hurt my skin somewhat, too. Okay, so those boards do not break. Ah, uh, it's the clumping blood. Let's, let's deal with him this time. Ah! Here's one! What the hell? Oh my god. How did you see me behind you? There's a guard in the guard tower, heard things as well. Wow, this... What did he react to when he came here? He just, like... He went, what? When he, when he just... He didn't see me here, right? Surely? Well... What am I going to do? So it doesn't look like the upstairs window is going to be the way in. I guess we'd get in from here? Or maybe we can get around there. Let's, let's... There is still another guard out this way, but maybe we can get through. Hello? Anyone there? Well, seems clear. the archer. Hello? Aha, another house to rock. That's alright, I'll take that. Doesn't look like the street is going where I thought it might, but... Uh... It's a butcher they said they went from the basement, right? Sleep. In there.
Maybe we can do this professionally. Om nom, save. Three hit points always worth a save. Garrett. Why it was the whomping on the tiles? Oh, it's guard? No, it's a servant. That's alright then. Another rope arrow. Why would there be another rope arrow? I've not seen any way to use them yet. We'll leave you to your easiest, bounteous sleep there. Ah, that's maybe why there would be a rope arrow. <laughs> what is going on? Let's see what's going on here. Is that just a... <laughs> right. Well, maybe it's just a mapping error, not some strange passage. That's oh, fine. Ah. Uh, friend, your ass is as doomed as that banner. Oh, quiet, got it. Don't wake a baby. Oh, there is no baby. dreams of somebody stealing into your house, stealing everything in sight, and stealing back out again. I hope you steal your nerves to uh, survive such a horrible nightmare. Oh, you're awake. <clears throat> Foolish man to leave your coins on top of your desk with your back turned. Who's making those noises? We are. The entire household. I mean, they only had 91 in total out of all of that. Not. Not as rich a household as I would have liked. Oh well. Uh, but uh, I think we're going to end the episode here, and when we come back, we, you know, the royal we, like uh, Garrett, the king of thieves here. Uh, when I come back, I'll uh, keep heading around the street to the right there and see where we, see what, what can be found. I'll see you then.